Yo, it's Justin, and it ain't nothing. Welcome back to the channel. I'm on my way to the gym. It, look, we got snow last night. I'm watching. What you gotta do is get into it. The number you have dialed. Note, the new number is you know i like to talk to you a little bit we got a few inches of snow last night it makes the job that harder i want to tell you the snowfall whatever you encounter is part of the grind you know fitness is not easy over the years i've conditioned myself to go through a lot of stuff and and not really mind it that's probably not the same for you fitness is conditioning over and over again the stuff get repetitive, the exercise get repetitive. You gotta be consistent because this is something that lasts potentially a lifetime. So keep that in mind. And um, snow is just part of the grind. I don't, I don't care if it's snowing, if it's sleeting, if it's over 100 degrees, you know, it's something I've conditioned myself to do over and over because uh, I love those results. But without further ado, here we go to the gym. sense to me to do half reps like this you know it's not effective you want the full muscle involved on each rep so the muscle can get exhausted and tired and it can repair and go through that process to get you stronger to help you lose weight whatever the case is you want that full range of motion and I mean it's arguable you know this is effective too though okay this is effective. You will get working. You will get stronger if you do half reps. But I like to do my, this is my philosophy. I like to go all the way down so I can get the full range of motion and hit all my pet. Okay? So, there you have it. This is probably the most popular exercise amongst guys. The dumbbell bench press. And um, for good reason because it's highly effective. It isolates each pack because both arms have to work independently. So it's real good for developing the chest muscle. You're not gonna lift as much as you would with the barbell, but dumbbell presses have their own strength. This is the incline dumbbell bench press right here. It's real simple. It depends on your gym though. Bench, you just raising the the bed of the the bench up a different movement. Now, the higher you raise that bench, the more shoulders get involved. Our target right here is the upper chest when you do the incline dumbbell bench press, and you can do the incline the barbell bench press on the regular bench. But I'm going to show you the dumbbell bench press. Now, if you want to hit the chest in different angles in different directions, I highly recommend the incline bench press. And like I said, both arms are in isolation. They have to work independently. So this is real good for developing the upper chest and getting strength. And it's a good switch up from doing the flat bench all the time. So I love this exercise. I do this a lot. A lot of guys do it. You should too. Okay, with with the incline dumbbell bench press like this, we hitting the upper chest, but you still get working. And remember, it, this is harder than a regular standard bench press, a flat bench press. So you probably got to lower your weight on this incline dumbbell bench press. But uh, this is effective for getting your chest to grow or this is a great way to train your chest. So I use it all the time. But if you do this, you're gonna have to use lighter weight. 
because it's more shoulder, okay? Be safe, like always, and practice before you, <laughs> you try doing it. Don't go crazy. The flat bench should be your heaviest exercise, period. For this, I'm gonna drop the bench back. Okay. Ba the basic movement is, I'm gonna take the dumbbells in my hand and I'm gonna press, okay? This is chest, you know, you working the chest muscles, you know what I mean? You hitting the body, the muscles, from different directions, and you just exhausting the muscle fibers. The most important thing is you to get tired and you wanna exhaust the muscle fiber, the target muscle fiber. And what, I'm training the chest right now. Of course, you're hitting other muscle groups, but I'm targeting the chest right here. So, so for a different exercise, you can raise the bench up on this. Like we did last time, you can do an incline press. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. This exercise is called the close grip dumbbell bench press. Incline bench press. It's real good. It focuses on the chest like usual, and it's just a different variation compared to the regular standard bench press. I think you target the outer pecs a little bit more here. You can hit the pecs in different angles in different ways. You just got to switch it up. Next one, I got the 30s, 30 pound dumbbell. Don't go too heavy on this one. Especially if you knew. I lowered the bench again. We're gonna do a regular dumbbell fly for the pack. Dumbbell fly. I don't go to this exercise as much as I used to because the cables are superior you know, to keep the resistance. But you can get work with these dumbbell flies. Um, a real good chest exercise. Again, we switching it up, taking the boredom out of our training. It's just more exercise for you to do. Same thing, raise the bench for incline. Okay, we wanna do incline pec flat. And also, you wanna make your pecs work. Squeeze your pec and squeeze it throughout the whole movement, full range. And you want to go all the way down and all the way up and squeeze. Work your chest muscles right up. You want that mind to muscle connection. You got to exaggerate this move and get your chest muscles working. Get your pec squeezing on every rep and try to exhaust your chest. You want to get your chest tired so it can grow, so it can get defined and you can feel it so get that mind to muscle connection going don't go through the motions and make sure your chest is working i'm finna this is my finisher uh i like to train hard you know a lot of people come to the gym you know they be under training get minimal results so try to push yourself um when you can i'm about to do <laughs> 10 regular push-ups 10 incline push-ups and 10 decline push-ups. I was supposed to use the dumbbells on this, but I didn't, but you get the picture. You can use the dumbbell to help you push up. Uh, but anyway, you want to do this as a finisher. This is a way to exhaust the pecs. The triceps are engaged. Uh, the shoulders are working. Your legs are working. Your core is working because you got to stabilize yourself. You got to put your whole body into it so you can do the exercise properly. This is a way to exhaust the muscle fibers and get the most out of your body. Help you grow if, if that's a goal of yours. So try this, you're gonna get tired. And it's the 27. <laughs> it's 1027, but anyway, it's the 27th of January and I'm doing 100 squats per day in the month of January. It's my 27th day in a row doing 100 squats every day. So I'm doing it right here. I'm going to show you a little bit.
in the comment section below. Tell me if any of these chest exercises helpful to you. Do you like what you see? Let me know in the comment section below. If you don't want to miss anything from Justin Parks, you can find me on Facebook. Join my Facebook group called Justin Parks Training. I do a lot of stuff on there. I count macros, I do weigh in Wednesdays, I do spotlight, and I show you my battles with lupus. So you don't want to miss anything from that group. Also, if you don't want to miss anything on here, on YouTube, a best way not to do that is of course a subscription. So subscribe. Thank you for watching the video, share it with your friends. And as always, Justin Parks, Papers, got you rolling papers. Got you rolling papers, got you rolling papers. Falling asleep, waking up days later.